Hi everyone, today I want to discuss about the coordination compound objective question need level. The oxidation state and coordination number oxidation state and coordination number of platinum in this given compound respectively is so first of all we have to calculate the oxidation number platinum i don't know that's why we consider x and this ethene is neutral therefore one ligand and into zero plus chlorine three chlorides are there and they are negatively charged minus one and total on the power minus one is there therefore now here three minus minus three right side minus one and left side this is a plus one is cancel then how much left minus two left goes equal to right therefore x equal to plus two so now we have to check that left side we have the plus two and plus two oxidation state but we want coordination number Coordination number here 3 plus ethene is monodentate 3 plus 1 4 therefore the correct option is second one. Coordination number and oxidation state. Coordination number and oxidation state of X compound given here. So what will be that? So according to that already we know these are the amine it means ammonia is a 5 monodented ligand and sulfate sulfate generally bidented ligand but it is a flexidented also therefore it can donate one lone pair also or two lone pair also so here required one lone pair because coordination number generally six here so five plus one six so now first one is a coordination number so in this one coordination number three and fourth option we have the coordination number six first so answer may be three or four then we have to find out the oxidation state oxidation state how to find out now according to this x plus sulfate one minus two charge plus five ammonia is zero neutral ligand is equal to zero therefore x is equal to plus 2 then option is fourth option is correct next what is the oxidation state of iron in this given compound so according to this we can say x iron unknown and five water molecule that is neutral zero and NO. NO we have the two types of ligand one is NO positive NO neutral so then which one we have to consider if it is a zero we are considering then this is one into zero is equal to total plus two charge is there therefore plus two charge then x is equal to plus two charge but that is not correct because this is a formula for brown ring according to their magnetic property that is considered as NO plus. Therefore, now EFE is X and 5 water molecule neutral and this is NO is a positively charged and 1 into 1 positively charged is equal to plus 2 in this one positive one positive cancel one positive will be left therefore x equal to plus 1 oxidation state therefore which is correct now third one is correct next question fourth which of the following is heteroleptic complex heteroleptic complex mean different ligands for example first one is a ferrocene that ferrocene formula is f e 
n5 it will eta 5 c5 h5 taken 2 this is a complex for ferrocene formula now same chromosin mean instead of iron you will get chromium prussian blue color formula is f e c n taken 6 whole power minus 4 that is a prussian blue color but gcs salt formula is platinum cl3 c2 h4 this is the gcs salt now chloride and this ethene is a different therefore the correct answer is the fourth one oxidation number of cobalt in this given compound then this is an unknown x consider sorry potassium one known that is a plus one plus x plus carbonyl is a neutral therefore four into zero that equal to zero because total compound is neutral then x equal to we can write that is this plus one goes right side minus one therefore appropriate answer is generally this is a minus one but generally metal showing the minus one oxidation is rare next another compound that is a sixth one question k3 fe cn6 is what is the name of this one we can say its name is first option we check potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 its oxidation number is not 2 because this is a 3 and this is a x this is a plus 6 minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to plus 3 so plus 3 which is the, that is the answer therefore we will check for the second one potassium hexacyanoferrate Three. this is a correct one and potassium ferricin is a common in this also correct one hexacyanoferrate potassium potassium is a counter cation but not counter anion so this is anion after the oxidation number is a counter anion name but here counter cation even this is a wrong so option second and third are correct so in the previous question 2 and 3 are the correct option therefore second one is a correct IUPC seventh one question IUPC name for the given compound is so to answer that IUPC name we should first to find out the oxidation number cobalt unknown therefore x plus ammonia 6 are the 6 into neutral ligand 0 and this is 0 and next one this is a chromium one match is equal to zero for the left side compound then right side compound a that is a chromium and cn six are the six into minus one is equal to zero then chromium is equal to plus six so this is equally for both this coordinate isomers therefore left side is a plus 3 right side is a plus 3 now according to this we have to check the which is a plus 3 option first one is there and fourth one is there so we can cancel the second and third now we can check hexamine cobalt 3 one three is there hexacyano chromate three because left side is a cationic species right side is a anionic species, species therefore chrome eight eight suffix should be required therefore first one only the correct answer if you take the fourth one hexacyano chromium is there so anyway first cation name required next anion name required in left side cation cobalt is there therefore first one only correct next eight which of the following has a least conductivity in aqueous solution 
so number of n increases conductivity increases number of n decreases conductivity decreases so according to werner theory this example you may be studied that in this cobalt n h3 taken 3 cl3 all chloride ions are inside there is no outside cl meaning it do not ionize because there is no ionizable valency therefore it is only one particle so one ion type then this is a least one so which has like this formula meaning a second one if you take this one maybe first option then what we can write this is cobalt first always try to write neutral ligand and this is which one a four and cl2 coordination number six therefore two only right inside and one will be written outside so we will get this square bracket is a one ion and cl is another n two ion we will get therefore least number of ion is a one that's why which option correct one is second one if you take the third one you will get the 5 plus 1 mean 2 outside you will get so here you will get 2 ion here 1 ion here 2 ion here 3 ion therefore least one is which one second option if ean of a central metal ion x plus 2 in a complex is 34 and atomic number is 28 the number of monodented ligand present in the complex is for ninth question answer is EAN e -A -E -N is equal to Z atomic number minus oxidation state plus 2 into coordination number. Now EAN is given as a 34 and oxidation state already they mentioned that is z is 28 oxidation number plus 2 and this i will consider some x total i will consider x then this is what is the 26 this is the 34 plus x therefore x is equal to 34 minus 26 then this is a eight result then x what is that two into coordination number is equal to eight then coordination number is equal to eight by two how much that is a four therefore four is a coordination number of the monodented ligand then that option is which one second one the effective atomic number for chromium is uh, atomic number is 24 then we have to calculate now <coughs> chromium is a unknown therefore x oxidation number 6 into 0 and 3 chloride ions are there 3 into minus 1 is equal to 0 then what is the oxidation number directly i am writing here this is minus 3 this is a so not cancel so direct uh, this is a plus 3 when it goes right side plus 3 then how to calculate atomic number is 24 minus 3 plus 2 into coordination number coordination number how much is there 6 is there 6 that equal to e a n then 24 minus 20, uh, sorry 3 then it is a 21 21 and plus 12. 12 that equal to ean then what we can say 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 2 33 answer therefore third option correct which gives only 25 percent 25 mole percent of AgCl when react with the AgNO3 which gives a 25 percent more uh, 25 percent mole of AgCl so 
for example i think this is a i will consider the fourth is a correct answer how i will prove now this can be fourth one can be represented as platinum nh3 taken 3 chloride and total how many are there one so three i can write then one is outside because total four chlorines are there so platinum compounds are generally possible coordination number six also coordination number four also now i am taking the coordination number six compound then how many chlorines total four chlorines are present out of that if it is react with the ag n o 3 then it will give this chloride and only precipitate with the agcl agcl one mole precipitated four moles of chlorine gives one mole of agcl out of four four is a hundred percent meaning one is how much percent therefore this can be written as a one by four into hundred 1 by 4 means what is that? 0.25 into 100 means 25 percent. Therefore, this will give the 25 percent answer. Then, fourth option correct. Number of electro, 12th question. Number of electrolytes in the complex. It meaning if by taking this compound cobalt NH3 taken 5. And coordination number 6, therefore 5 plus 1, 6. Then how many chlorine we can add outside? 2. 2 plus this total 1 particle, 3. So 1 plus 2, that gives a 3. Therefore, answer is first one. The shape of the complex is, now coordination number is, this one 2, because monodented ligand generally coordination number is denticity in two that ligand number therefore two are there two is there mean linear therefore linear is the answer now 14th question the shape of this given complex is now here coordination number is four so coordination number is equal to 4 it has two shapes one is tetrahedral another one is a square planar but generally this copper compounds are exist and that compound exists in the square planar complex therefore this is a first option 15th question among the following ions which one has a highest paramagnetism which one has a highest paramagnetism this is decided based on the crystal field theory don't decide with the valency bond theory because valency bond theory is failure therefore the new one taken as a crystal field theory the final theory respective we have to answer so now the highest paramagnetism so all our octahedral complexes are they given so in this one we have two types of orbital one is t to g another one is e g if i take the fluoride is a weak ligand in this oxidation number is plus three is there now plus three oxidation number plus two oxidation number plus two plus two so we'll check now plus three meaning actual iron atomic number is 26 d6 4 s 3d6 4s2 now here 
two electron here last here one last mean what is left d5 therefore one two three four five five unpaired is there therefore the first one is a five paramagnetic it means five magnetic moment five point something next one time that we can write with the second one it is plus two mean d6 electrons d6 mean one two because h2 also weakly again three four five six then four four unpaired here five is there, here four is there so this also not answer next one copper copper in the d9 because that is atomic number 29 3d 10 4s2 then 2 electron loss mean 3d 9 in 3d 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so one unpaired electron so this is also not zinc totally zero so i will write here this is a 5 this is a 4 this is a 1 this is a 0 highest unpaired electron the first one the magnetic property and the shape of the, this given complex in the 16th question is what is the magnetic property coordination number 6 means compulsory octahedral so like this options only only one is an octahedral square planar tetrahedral none of the above so none also may be possible with the magnetic product though we have to check that what is that it is paramagnetic or not how to decide the paramagnetic or not based on the cft then it is octahedral complex therefore he had two eg electrons uh, eg orbital this is a t2g orbital oxidation number is plus three but chromium atomic number is 24 therefore d5 4 s 1 so plus three mean here one electron loss here two electron loss therefore out of five three loss mean three unpaired so anyway nac weekly gun three so three unpaired are there therefore if it is going to be strong also then it is borderline therefore we can answer this is a paid and this is one un unpaired mean paramagnetic only therefore this one and what is the incorrect for k4 fecn6 oxidation number what is that this is a plus one into four then iron unknown x c and six are there then plus six into minus one is equal to zero therefore this four and this four cancel then x is equal to plus two therefore plus two is there in the first option it exhibits the diamagnetic character, exhibits the paramagnetic character, and it involves D2 sp3 hybridization. So we'll check the its magnetic property. How to check the magnetic property? The same. It is called coordination number six. Mean this is a one, two, three, one, two. Plus two mean D6. D6 meaning a total cn is there cn is a strong ligand therefore pair so d6 configuration because atomic number 26 mean 3d6 4s2 2 loss mean d6 only therefore 1 1 2 3 next 4 5 6 all are paired it is a damn but here given paramagnetic incorrect we want so here incorrect given me third option is incorrect next 18th question for given these two complexes magnetic movement of the fluoride complex is expected to be generally both are having plus three oxidation state and iron is a 26 atomic number so plus three oxidation state meaning a d5 configuration in this fluoride ion is a weak ligand therefore five unpaired electron in five magnetic moment when you take for cyanide so in t2g how many orbitals are there three so 
सो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर फाइव वन इज अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन देर फोर इन द सेकेंड कॉम्प्लेक्स मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट इज वन बट इन द फर्स्ट वन फाइव ओनली देर फोर फाइव इज द ग्रेटर देन वन मीन वील चेक द विच ऑप्शन करेक्ट द सेम मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट नॉट करेक्ट इन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन नॉट करेक्ट देन लार्जर द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट ऑफ द साइनेड कॉम्प्लेक्स नो द लार्जर द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट ऑफ द साइनेड कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज देर आर मोर अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द फ्लोराइड कॉम्प्लेक्स smaller the magnetic moment of the cyanide complex because there are more unpaired electron in the fluoride complex so which is correct cyanide ion has a more number of unpaired electron so smaller the magnetic moment of the cyanide complex because there are more unpaired electron in the fluoride complex so third one is correct If you take the fourth one, larger the magnetic moment of the cyanide complex. No, that is not at all possible. Next one, nineteenth. How many unpaired electrons are present in the brown ring complex? So already we identified its oxidation number in the previous one question, but also one so again I will find out. Iron is X plus water is a neutral zero. then n wo we have to consider positively charged 1 plus then 1 into plus 1 and sulfate is a 1 into minus 2 is equal to 0 this plus 1 1 minus 1 cancel 1 left minus 1 goes right side plus 1 x equal to plus 1 oxidation state therefore what we can say now this can be called as d 5 sorry d6 3d6 4s2 it is a iron atomic number 26 when atomic uh, oxidation state is 1 mean one electron loss then we can say 3d6 and 4s1 3d6 4s1 meaning How many unpaired electrons are present? Total seven are there. This seven meaning a strong ligands only if you consider. Then here one, two, three. Next four, five, six, seven. Then which is the correct answer? Not possible. How many unpaired electrons are present in the brown ring complex? If it is normally D six only taken, then what will happen here? D water molecule is a uh, or is a weak ligand. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But one more electron also is present. Therefore, this is a seven. Total weak ligands are considered. Therefore, it is a uh, total one and two, three unpaired electrons are present. Therefore, it is a second option correct one. Which of the following statement about CrCO taken six? Then what is the oxidation number zero? Because um, CO is a neutral ligand. therefore x is equal to 0 now we know that paramagnetic diamond how to decide this is same coordination number 6 is there mean here 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 total chromium atomic number 24 3 d 5 4s 1 then total 6 electrons are there in this 6 electrons so which is the correct answer we'll check now it means strong ligand One, two, three, four, five, six. All are totally paired up. Then mu equal to zero. It means diamagnetic inner orbital complex or outer orbital complex. Meaning, 
anyway strong ligands are paired in inner orbital uh, inner orbital complex only therefore second one according to valency bond theory next 21 question which is a true complex which is true for the complex then given complex is now en is a bidentate ligand now two ligands are given four is a coordination number so coordination number four is contained this one also this one also this one also so first one is a wrong answer oxidation number we can find out it is a neutral ligand therefore plus two oxidation state so that is not given okay anyway no problem now this is a generally square planar complex coordination four mean coord square planar the tetrahedral also possible but that is not so that you will know by practice then this is a square planar complex meaning like this only one option is there that is second one option correct automatically it will be diamagnetic next hybridization 22 question hybridization what is that what is a hybridization now this is a c2 o4 minus 2 is a strong ligand strong ligands mean all electrons are paired according to valency bond theory so inner electrons are generally paired and two or some orbitals are left therefore it is compulsory d2 sp3 hybridization because coordination number six it is a bidentate ligand three ligands are there two into three therefore coordination number six so compulsory this is a d2 sp3 hybridization then option is fourth one which complex is diamagnetic which option is diamagnetic we'll check that mno4 minus MnO4 minus oxidation state is a plus 7 D0 configuration. Therefore, this is a diamagnetic. What the point? Then, which least one complex N match the least one complex N list with the two number of unpaired electron and select the correct answer using the codes given below the lists. 1 and 2 read carefully now we have to check the their number of unpaired electrons so now first one it is based on the crystal field theory we have to keep in mind so chromium is a 24 atomic number oxidation number according to this one complex is plus 2 so 3d5 4 yes 1 1 loss here 1 loss mean 3d4 3d4 but it is which one ligand weak ligand so 1 1 1 and in eg1 total 4 unpaired electron so 4 unpaired electron is there mean which one that is fourth one so like this is we have a will be 4 a will be 4 we have the what do you call first option and third option then which one will select now we have the different in the b and b and d c having the same second and second so here d having 5 and 1 here b having 1 and 5 so we'll check the b first what is the b <coughs> manganese atomic number is 25 therefore d5 and yes 2 then oxidation number here 2 mean 2 loss therefore d5 d5 weak ligands are there therefore we can say 1 2 3 4 5 then how many electrons are there 5 so which option is correct meaning a third option because you have 4 and 5 matching mean automatically remaining are matching but in the first option is 4 1 is there so not matching therefore third option is a correct one next 26th question 
sorry 25th question select the most stable complex most stable complex are generally more chelating ligand more stable so chelating ligands are oxidation number both are affect the stability higher the oxidation number required and more number of chelating ligands are required so like this which one is the first one oxidation number plus three second one plus three third one plus three fourth one plus all are plus three but here two chelating ligand chelating ligand, ethylene diamond is a chelating ligand here three are there here one is there so third option having the oxidation number three plus three chelating ligands ring forming chelating ligands chelating ligands mean ring forming ring forming more stable therefore third option is correct which of the following complex cannot exhibit geometrical isomerism so which is not exhibit the geometrical isomerism mean third option only the do not exhibit the geometrical isomerism why third one is not exhibit the geometrical meaning a copper then this is a square planar complex here ethylene diamine n h2 n h2 then here ch2 ch2 both sides are same nitrogen nitrogen is a n h2 ch2 n h2 ch2 so all ligand types are looking same therefore it do not exhibit the geometrical isomer third option is the correct one now 27th question in a plane or complex m a b c d gives option two optical isomer two geometrical isomer three optical isomer three geometrical isomer so first coordination number four mean that will exhibit the geometrical isomer or not then we'll check the optical isomers now m this is a metal ligand a b c d one possibility next one a here i will write the c here i will write the b and here d next m a then i will write here the d and here b b only and c only anyone right no problem but these are the three geometric isomers are possible it is based on a opposite c a opposite b a opposite d next you can change anything this pattern only repeat that's why how many geometric isomer possible three but generally square planar complexes do not exhibit the what you call optical isomer because these are slice cut gives the equal and it has a symmetry therefore this is not the answer uh, optical isomer compulsory three geometrical isomer that is a correct one the number of geometrical isomer expected for octahedral complexes is m a b c d e f meaning now this m a b c d e f will be represented like this in this one one four are trans two five are trans three six are trans therefore three trans are possible those are 90 degree angle they are generally cis one with the two 90 degree cis one with the three 90 degree actually it is a, if you take the one plane this up this is a down therefore this is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree this is also 90 degree so one with the two cis one with the three cis one with the five cis one with the six six cis so one respective complete next two respective then two with one already one two covered here that's why we will not take which is covered two and three are cis and two and four are cis next two 
आइन फाइव ट्रांस कर टू एंड सिक्स आर सिक्स बिकॉज दिस इज नाइन्टी डिग्री दिस नाइन्टी दिस नाइन्टी दिस इज नाइन्टी सो टू रेस्पेक्टिव कम ब्लू कलर नेक्स्ट थ्री रेस्पेक्टिव थ्री वन थ्री टू ऑलरेडी कवर थ्री वन वन थ्री टू थ्री कवर मीन नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर नेक्स्ट थ्री फाइव थ्री सिक्स इज ट्रांस रेस्पेक्ट ट्रांस ऑलरेडी रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर सो टू और पजल थ्री फाइव एंड थ्री फोर कंप्लीट ग्रीन कलर दर इज नेक्स्ट फोर रेस्पेक्टिव फोर थ्री फोर टू फोर वन ऑलरेडी कंप्लीट इसमें बैक साइड रिवर्स नॉट ऑफ ओनली फॉरवर्ड सो फोर फाइव फोर सिक्स आर ट्रांस वन फोर इज सॉरी फोर फाइव फोर सिक्स आर सिक्स वन फोर आर ट्रांस नेक्स्ट फाइव so backward not possible now only forward that is a five six total count number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so twelve are six three are trans therefore the correct answer is third option three is fifteen geometrical isomers next Twenty nine. Which of the following complexes produces a PPT with AgNO three? Exists two geometrical isomers. Geometrical isomer means generally here given respect to complexes or maybe octahedral or tetrahedral, and PPT should be produced in one should be chloride and outside one or two or whatever that. So now the answer is. Mm, I will check and I will tell you that. So the appropriate answer is the four reason. Platinum can exhibit the plus two and plus four oxidation number in plus two square planar complex. So platinum N H three taken two and C L two. Outside total four chlorines are there. Two chlorines are outside, which are counter anion. They will precipitate with the AgNO three. Therefore, P platinum NH three taken to Cl two plus you will get two AgCl are the counter anion precipitate. These are the precipitate. So this is one answer, and they exhibit geometric isomer or not mean this exhibit reason. M A two B two type possible because this two this two possible geometrical isomerism. Now if we take any other in the octahedral complexes, possible or not meaning we'll check. Platinum four Cl four three two five no second option not possible because coordination number five is there that is not and this first option is also not possible because if it is taken as a octahedral complex platinum and four NH three and Cl two Cl two all are inside only so not possible next. If you take the third one, what is the real platinum NH three taken four, and if it is taken as octahedral complex, then we will take this is a Cl two, and we can write Cl two outside. Then four and two geometrical possible. Which of the following produce the PPT with the AgNO three and exist in two geometrical isomers? So this also can exist actually. One is cis, another is trans. Possible. So here both are possible is there, but according to this, you select that. Now, thirty cis compound given here. That is a platinum En two Br two Cl two dot two H two O and trans also given. Ionization isomers meaning a outside inside should be different required. 
सो नाउ बोथ केसेस सी एल टू इज आउट साइड सेम इज दैट दैट्स वे इट इज नॉट आइनाइजेशन आइसोमर जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमर पॉजिबल और नॉट हाइड्रेटेड आइसोमर नॉट बिकॉज बोथ हाइच टू ओ मॉलिकल आउट साइड सेम इज देर नॉट इन साइड इज देर सो थर्ड वन ऑल्सो नॉट पॉजिबल नाउ विच इज द करेक्ट आंसर विल चेक नाउ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस जो ऑप्टिकल और जोमेट्रिकल चेक नाम प्लेटिनम कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर ई एन बाई डेंटेड लिख एन टू टाइम इज एट फोर प्लस टू सिक्स नाउ इफ आई टेक दिस इज अ ब्रोमिन ऑपोजिट ट्रांस पॉजिबल लाइक दिस सो ट्रांस पॉजिबल बट प्लेन ऑफ सिमेट्री इज प्रेजेंट देर फोर ऑप्टिकल नॉट पॉजिबल then we'll check the cis possible or not then we can say here this is a platinum then here br br 90 degree possible en then en so when this is shows that optical isomerism then this compound also show sorry if this compound also shows a geometric isomerism this will shows the geometric isomerism this also shows so option which one now geometrical isomer then these are not optical isomer cis only shows optical trans not molecular formula same but both are not optical isomer only geometrical isomers 31 question which of the complex does not show geometrical isomerism which are having same ligand that will not show geometric isomer therefore third option e and same is there three times therefore not show any geometrical isomerism direct 32 the pair of molecule that exhibit the geometrical isomerism are geometrical isomerism mean what is that this will show now only i shown here maybe first option will change the chromium 1 2 3 4 5 6 then here this is a trans also possible and remaining are ammonia then chromium will show the cis also so this is cis and trans possible and like 3 3 this will shows the meridional and facial isomer so they are also geometric isomerism so compulsory this one shows the geometrical isomerism 100% then complex cobalt nh3 taken to this is shows the which type of isomerism meaning a no2 is there mean linkage because it is a ambidentic ligand both side it can be donate this one it mean maybe sometime oxygen donate one time nitrogen donate the pair of electron that's why ambidentic ligands are generally shows the linkage isomer so link is as or only one is there that's why that is a second option and now only i told you that like this 3 3 is there meaning compulsory they are what you call geometric isomer meridional and facial so second option is the correct one next 34 question which of the following represent the incorrect match so now we'll check that no2 is there meaning a compulsory link is isomer possible because ambidentic ligand first option correct one is that we want to check the incorrect geometrical isomer possible meaning a 1 2 and this 3 and two separate so square planar comes with the two different mean possible so this is also correct is there the next one geometric isomerism possible because ambidental ligand two different that also possible then water molecule outside is there mean there is no linkage isomer linkage isomer not possible hydrate possible but not linkage so they given linkage meaning is not possible so this is a incorrect incorrect therefore correct option this is a incorrect therefore correct option now 35 in this given common shows different color compound is due to water molecule change meaning ligands are changed so due to ligand color also change therefore that is called hydrate isomer fourth option next 
थर्टी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज और रॉन्ग अल्यूमिनियम कार्बाइड इज एन आर्गनो मेटालिक कॉम्पाउंड सो रॉन्ग दिस इज बिकॉज कंपल्सरी मे बी कार्बोनेल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड आर ए हाइड्रोकार्बन रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस इज अ रॉन्ग नेक्स्ट मेटल कार्बोनेट्स आर आर्गनो मेटालिक कॉम्पाउंड येस टेट्रा इथाइल लेड इज अ पाई बॉन्डेड आर्गनो मेटालिक कॉम्पाउंड नो दिस सिग्मा बॉन्डेड देयर फोर दिस इज रॉन्ग फ्रेंकलैंड रीजन द सिग्मा बॉन्डेड येस सो टोटली विच आर रॉन्ग मीनिंग ए एंड सी दैट इज अ सेकेंड ऑप्शन थर्टी सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन कंपाउंड विच कंटेन डायरेक्ट मेटल कार्बन बॉन्ड विच कंटेन द मेटल डायरेक्ट मेटल एंड कार्बन बॉन्ड दैट इज कॉर आर्गनो मेटलिक कॉम्प्लेक्स देर फोर वी कैन से डायरेक्टली दैट इज अ फोर्थ ऑप्शन थर्टी एट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए पाई बॉन्डेड आर्गनो मेटलिक कॉम्पाउंड पाई बॉन्डेड मीन जी सी सॉल्ट दैट इज डायरेक्ट आंसर इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट इज अ प्लेटिनम सी एल थ्री ई थी दिस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट एज अ प्लेटिनम सी एल सी एल एंड दिस अ सी एल दिस इज अ सी एच टू डबल बॉन्ड सी एच टू दिस पाई बॉन्डेड कॉम्पाउंड टू हंड्रेड लाइक दिस देन दिस इज अ पाई बॉन्डेड आर्गनो मेटलिक कॉम्पाउंड थर्ड ऑप्शन इज अ करेक्ट next which of the following is not an organo metallic compound so which is not organo metallic compound this is organo metallic this is organo metallic this is not this is yes why third option is not meaning okay? boron and this is called 1 2 3 wo c is re this is oxygen bonded therefore this is not in the second compound one is not a o c s 3 another is a c s 3 bonded therefore second option is correct but third option wrong therefore which is not mean third option now 40 a reagent used for identifying nickel ion is that is called dimethyl glyxan directly you have to remember from the textbook it is given in the applications of the this chapter so third uh, third option is the correct one